What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2023 Hit Parade Baseball just sold out. This is the Autograph Limited Edition Series 3 Dual Case Break number 2. We did number 1 earlier. And again, guys, 20 total boxes. Potential hits you can get out of here. All right there on the sell sheet. We did hit the Nolan Ryan earlier. So let's see what else is potentially remaining here. But another two cases here. And again, guys, randomizer there. Customer names from Jeffrey. Down to Dylan, got those straight up. Doug, down to Steve Birch, won those in a mosaic pack filler. Or box break, I should say. And then there, of course, is the teams. Click dice roll. Six and a three. Nine times. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine times. Six, three, nine. Ed, down to David. And then six, three, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times, nine times. Red Sox at the top, down to the Padres at the bottom. All right, so Ed, you have the Red Sox. Christopher, the Yankees. Rex, you have the White Sox. Ed with the Pirates. Steve Birch with the Nationals and Rockies. Christopher with the Angels. James with the Dodgers. David with the Cubs. Dylan with the Marlins. Doug with the Astros. Steve with the Twins. Dylan with the Giants. David with the Mariners. Brad with the Phillies. D-Mac with the Blue Jays. David with the Cardinals. CL with the A's. David with the Braves. Orioles. Steve with the Brewers. Jeremy Port with the Rays. David with the Tigers. Doug with the D-backs. David with the Reds. Jeffrey with the Rangers. David with the Mets. Brad with the Guardians. John with the Royals, and then David with the San Diego Padres. Oh. No, that's not what I want. Alright, if anybody wants to make any trades, we can. Actually, we sold filler spots today, Chad. I don't think that's true. The straight-up spots we haven't moved. But today, I think we sold three spots in the filler. But I guess so, man. I don't know. Yeah, was it good? I, dude, I haven't seen John Wick 1. <laughs> or I should just call it John Wick. Because it was, I don't know if it was intended to be multiple. I heard that it had a really good score of Rotten Tomatoes this year. And like, Keanu did like 90% of his, his stunts. Is that right? So it wasn't good? Rotten Tomatoes is lying to us now? I don't think anybody wants to trade with you, so we'll close them in. Stick with the other Chicago team.
<laughs> Dude. <laughs> that is that is exactly the reason why uh, my father-in-law loves John Wick. He loves those movies, dude. And that just makes sense right now. He always, he always like, anytime we ask him if he wants to watch a movie, he'll say it in Spanish, saying, Ay balazos, meaning, is there guns? And if we say yes, he's like, alright, I'll watch it. <laughs> so, that's, it just makes me laugh, because that's exactly why he loves it. <laughs> There's only so many ways to shoot a guy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I guess so, Rex. You can have the big hurts. Maybe it'll come with some Cialis. Free sample. Order your free sample bottle in the mail today. Alright, guys. No, I know, I know, man. But no, I feel you, though. Like, that would, that would be a movie that you'd say has too much action, right? Alright, here we go, guys. First one we got is Cincinnati Reds. Joey Votto from Five Star, a little patch autograph. Joey V. David Dolly. Talents to one seventy five. There's the sell sheet hit. 69 out of 99. Nice. On card showtime. His stuff is just through the roof right now, guys. He is the greatest baseball player in the world right now. Okay, is it is it almost close to say like almost he's like ever? Like just with the amount of couple seasons we've had of him actually pitching and batting? Like, ain't nobody else doing that, right? So, can we get to that already? Like, he's almost, like, the best player ever. Maybe the most skilled. And that's going to Christopher with the Angels as well. Nice. Robert Pawson. He was supposed to be a big prospect, too. I don't know if he's gotten a shot yet, but he was super, super young when he got drafted. He was, like, 17 years old. But uh, nice one there, green little color match for the Oakland Athletics. I'm gonna see you. Not there yet. How many more years do we have to get of that pizzle? Because I mean, I think they were doing the stats. Babe Ruth, we only got like a season and a half, maybe two seasons of Babe Ruth batting and pitching at the same time, and then that was it. Then he just became straight up hitting. So Otani's already going on th what year three? So instantly we've already gotten more than what Babe Ruth got to offer. So, how many more years of that does he have to have to be considered literally, like, that status? We 
you have Noah Syndergaard to 15. Because it seems to me that if eventually he stops pitching, he's going to be able to bat for X amount of more years, right? So he has to pitch and bat for 10 years? Uh, I don't know about that. If he can consistently do what he's doing in like maybe four or five, I think I calmed the goat already. But then he doesn't have to pitch anymore. He can just go straight to batting. Damn it. You're demanding a lot, Fizzle. Jesus. <laughs> Dude. Well, if he does 10 years of pitching and batting and he continues to stay at that high level, no one will ever come near his, his record then. He'd be like the goat of goats. It didn't even matter if he didn't win any any World Series rings. I feel like eventually he's gonna give away pitching though. We have a Jazz Chisholm patch autograph. Peak. It's going to the Miami Marlins. And of course there's no Syndergaard and Scrap Thor. Sorry about that. I was getting too into the conversation. Mets. Going to David. I mean, yeah, I guess that's true. I'm putting a high pedestal on it, but I mean, I just I don't think we've we've never seen what he's doing. Brow Daddy says, yeah, if he has one more season like he's had the last two, he's definitely in the conversation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. At least another year or two. I mean, dude, we've never seen that before. <laughs> just think about that. Besides, like they said, a small sample size of like Babe Ruth, Ryan Sandberg. Phillies. It's going to Brad Polly. But no, I feel you though, Pizzle. <laughs> Who's the best baseball player of all time for you then, Pizzle? I don't think I've ever asked you that question, but I know you love baseball. Who, who's the best player of all time for you? All time baseball. Like, of all time. Who is, though? I just want to know enough for me. For, for, for you. We got Stephen Kwan. Guardians. 12 out of 25. Alright, give me give me top three for you, Pizzo. In no particular order. Top three. Of all time. Never thought about it? I mean, I'm just, I was just wondering. I thought you would have, like, at least, like, a, a number one. I mean, I guess, like, in other sports, it's kind of more easier, maybe, to debate. Not even debate, right? I mean, Brady, GOAT, all-time, right? I think, I think we've established that. Basketball, I mean, it's kind of up there with Jordan forever. But, I mean, obviously, LeBron's still playing. If he can win a couple more rings, and maybe he gets into the big conversation. But he's already the greatest scorer of all time, so he's definitely up there. Hockey, Wayne Gretzky. I mean, we know that, right? I mean, no one's going to touch his records. McDavid can score 150-plus points a year, and I don't even think he still touches it, which is amazing to say. But he's going to definitely be number two, though. Unless he starts winning a shit ton of Stanley Cubs, McDavid will be up there, too. But there's kind of already, like, cemented goats of every sport. But I feel like with baseball, it's still kind of debatable, right? Freddie Freeman, Atlanta Braves. So you're saying Babe Ruth is still number one for you. Okay, who would number two be then? Crazy for us to say that because we never got to see him play. But, <laughs> I mean, I guess just the respect of admiring what he did for the game. Back in the 19, early 1900s, 20s, 30s when he played. And we got Carlton Fisk. There you go. White Sox. Try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo for Rex. Alright, that was one case, guys. Let's go with the second.
All right, we got Steve Carlton, old school tribute, which I loved back in the day. Number 289. That is, of course, Phillies edition. Another one there for Brad Pauley of the Phillies. Rex, a hit is a hit, right? And you want that from a pack filler, so. I gotta assume that that auto is probably at least 50 bucks. For, this is limited edition, right? So these boxes probably sell for about like 150 or so. So I think like the worst hit they probably put in here is like 50, 60 dollars. But highest hit they probably put is about maybe double, triple the spot price, maybe like four or five hundred dollars. Degrom, nice jumbo patch autograph, five star for the Mets to 50. That's David Dolly. But I feel like you're gonna get like a big hurt or something. Usually he's like one of the more popular players in here. Or Lou Bob or something. Of the last few years. Whoa! Someone's gonna get some money. Wow, look at that. We'll send you a $20 gift code. So we'll add this to the judge. And a patch autograph. All rise, Aaron Judge. One out of five. Look at that beautiful patch right there from Diamond Icons Baseball. Nice. 2019. Who has the Yankees? Is Christopher H. Congrats, buddy. Nice. So I'll place that right there together. Weeks. That's right, A A Rom. All right, so we ended up getting the Judge and the Shohei Otani sell sheets. We have a patch autograph USA Baseball of Riley Green, who I believe is still in Detroit. So that goes to the Detroit Tigers, which is David. Nice inception. Pedro Leon out of 25 was inscribed with God. Houston Astros. That is a uh, dub. Definitely, for sure. We have for the Cleveland Guardians, Aura of Excellence, Jose Ramirez to 50. Cleveland Guardians is going to Brad Pauley. V4. Oh my. We got Royce Lewis, gold rookie autograph from Finest out of 50. 41 out of 50. Minnesota Twins, Steve Birch. We've got one in the first case, Pizzle. We got a Carlton Fisk for triple threads for Rex, but hopefully another one hiding in one of these last three. But I think we have a lot of the teams that go hit this too, so I kind of want to help out people that haven't got a hit yet. Mackenzie Gore for the Padres, number to 50. 
San Diego Padres. That is David Dolly. And we have Seiya Suzuki. Little autograph there for the Cubbies. Chicago Cubs, David. All right, guys, down to the final box. Here we go, guys. Good luck. <laughs> Lucky box number six. Catch your hands in due time. And it's Vladdy Sr. for the Angels. Five out of 15. From Luminaries 2022. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. That was the dual caser number two. We actually don't have any more of this series. But like I said, all in all, there was some very nice hits in here, including the Aaron Judge. That was a sell sheet hit. The Grom right there. There's that White Sox Carlton Fist to nine. Uh, Sandberg, Phillies edition, which is kind of weird, right? Jazz Chisholm. And then we ended up hitting the Shohei Otani on a sell sheet hit there as well. There you go. Appreciate it, folks. Uh, like I said, we'll have more of this in the store, probably a different series soon. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.